Okay. So we are, uh, this is uh, Tracy Allen, and I am speaking with Mr. Jerome Taylor, and oh. he has an awesome new CD out called Whenever You Want It, right? Yes, that's correct. Whenever okay. You want it. <laughs> I started getting confused with whatever I want or whenever I want it. Whenever you want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Jerome, um, I'm really excited for you with the, you know, having this new CD out. So mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about the CD. What is it that people are going to find on this CD? Well, on this particular CD, which is my third uh, CD effort, uh, there are 18 tracks that are available, uh, ranging from different type of genres, including there will be smooth jazz. Uh, some uh, funky pieces, a uh, little bit of uh, mixed smooth jazz funk, a little gospel funky, a lot of different uh, fused uh, genres um, on this album. Um, a lot of feel-good sounds, a lot of uh, uh, reflective type of uh, music. This runs the gamut. I think it'll be a kind of a, it's the kind of CD I think will appeal to uh, just about everybody. There's mm -hmm. something for everybody. I'm excited about it because uh, I've gotten a lot of uh, feedback on it. I've got a lot of positive uh, uh, comments on it, and I'm just simply excited about it. I tell you. Yeah, and then, so it came out last month, right? The month of July. Yes, it came out on the first of July. Of, uh, our birth, month. our birth month. Woo -woo. Yes. Woo -woo. <laughs> <laughs> this is. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> yes, happy birthday to you. The later birthday. You. And so tell me, what is one of your favorites off of that CD? One of my favorites? <laughs> well, uh, they're all my favorites, actually. But no, but <laughs> one of my, one that really stands out for me uh, is Reasonable Doubt is one. Uh, what a title. <laughs> Let Doubt. me see if I can pull that up on my computer. Let me see okay. if we can get a little taste of it. Sure. Reasonable Doubt. Reasonable Doubt. Okay. One of my favorites. Uh, open. Yeah, I like that one. Mm -hmm. Seems to get a lot of positive response. It's, it's a nice feel to it. Mm -hmm. You know, I yeah, think you'll like it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Let's see. Let me pull it up this way. My. Uh, Ah, here we go. My computer had a silly virus that got on here and it's causing me grief. So okay. Okay. we're good to go now. Can you hear it? Uh, not on my piece. I can't hear it this way. No? Mm -hmm. Oh, so I'm just all selfish with it then. Let's yeah, see. You, you, you'll have to externalize it. You know, it'll probably have to play it. Like without the uh, jack in the uh, system, you know what I mean? <laughs> to be heard, I guess I don't know. I don't know, cause I, I, you know, I have it playing, and so one would think that you could actually hear it through, because I have it playing on the computer. Hmm. It's not the computer, but it's not external. If you, if you, I can hear you. I don't know. I, I just, it's, uh, hmm. Interesting. Let's see. Yeah, Let me try it again. Let's see. Okay. Now I hear it. Okay, so I guess the key to that is to um is to uh Take it off, uh, to unplug my ear, Pete, my ear, but exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so to be heard, yeah, I think that might be the, the ticket there. There, okay, well, but I like that. So, uh, how long did it take you to come up with that? <clears throat> um, really, it took a couple of hours actually. It took a couple of most of my tracks that I've done. In fact, this goes with just about all the tracks that I've done in all three of my projects. Most of the tracks were done in one or two takes. Okay. And what was your inspiration on this one, though? Uh, 
um, I started with a beat. Normally when I compose, I usually start with a uh, given tempo or beat that I've come up with. And from there, it seems to spur other ideas. Because I'm doing everything, I'm playing all the instruments. <laughs> so I'll start with a the, the piano part. Like, you know, from the beginning, of course, that's the main thing with the melody, which is included. And from that point, we started adding other pieces in the orchestra, as it were, uh, that would include the, uh, the bass, uh, guitar, or horns, or whatever that's involved. So, usually starts uh, with the, the melody or the beat, and then the, the melody uh, or chord structure I may come up with. It, it just comes kind of naturally for me. Mm -hmm. And I just play as I feel. Um, at the, I'm, in other words, I'm playing the moment. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's sort of an improvisation, if you will, because I'm playing the moment. It's nothing really planned. You know what I mean? I get an inspiration at that moment. I just start playing. Mm -hmm. I've been playing a long time, so I have a lot of chords and ideas, all, you know, all up in here. <laughs> and so I just kind of, you know, express myself, a little dueling, if you will. You know, mm -hmm. this is my idea. And from that point, I said, oh, okay, that sounds good. Let me try uh, this other thing. And let me try this other thing, you know. So one begets the other. You know, I start with right. the uh, beat, and then I go from there. And it's usually done on the first step, which is... When you think about it, it's kind of the way to go because a lot of the uh, classics that were recorded by some of the uh, jazz greats and those who impro improvise, they'll tell you most of the, the the tracks were done on the first or second take. Anything after that is it's rehearsed and contrived, mm -hmm. and it's not the same. You know, you get the the, the true emotion of the moment when you do it one the first time, and of course when you have the the uh, opportunity to use uh, digital equipment and things like that, which is what I use uh, with technology as it is now, you can put down an idea the first time and then you can come back and clean it up, if you will, and just you know, do certain things to enhance it and, of course, mix it and then finally master it to its uh, present form. Yeah. So now, what made you come up with the name Reasonable Doubt? Again, most of the time when I come up with these titles, and I've been known for my titles as well, so the tracks, is because I'm trying to identify the track as I do it. You know, instead of saying track one, track two, track two, I just come up with an idea. So, oh, let's see, reasonable doubt. I can't think of something, you know, actual title. So, so I have a reasonable doubt about what I'm actually going to use. So I'll just use that as a title, track reasonable doubt. Now, once I'm done with the song, I still haven't <laughs> thought of anything that could actually, you know, keep as a title. So I keep the title that I use to keep up with my song. So mm -hmm. it's more or less like a, uh, what they call it, like a, uh, a way to keep up with, or to identify the song that I'm working on at that time. And I just keep it. And, okay. and you know, and so it doesn't, you know, not bad titles, so I just keep it. It's, right, right. You know, and as far as the uh, uh, title of your CD, yes. whenever you want it, what was that all about? What was going through your thought process to come up with Whenever you want. Now, whenever you want it. Actually, that was done a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I was in a different situation, a uh, different uh, uh, location, uh, studio-wise. And um, I was in a jazzy mode, you know, more of a jazz mode. And, uh, again, the title, I usually title them, give them a title after I've completed the thought process and, you know, put the general you know, uh, crust of the tune, laid it down, recorded it, and I come up with, a, you know, the title to, again, you know, to mark the song, you know, instead of right. just track number two, or track number two B, you know, <laughs> I just keep it as, uh, you know, whatever title that comes into my, into my mind, whatever pops up in my head. And so um, I'll do something whatever you want. You know, yeah. That's what I thought about at the time. So, and, and, and as usual, once I'm done, that title tends to stick with the song forever. So unless I come up with something, and sometimes I do change the title, you know. Yeah. There have been instances where I've actually changed the title along the way on several occasions. So, mm -hmm. But that one, in fact, to be honest with you, whenever you want it was not as whenever you want it. It was wherever you want it at first. And I ended up changing it to whenever you want it. 
Oh, and right. So, so, so mm -hmm. whenever somebody wants the music, they've got it, right? Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah, now just a few minutes ago, I was I was chuckling because I was thinking about something. Mm -hmm. It was the way you said the B and um, uh, title B or something that you said. Mm -hmm. And so this is a little bit off topic here, a lot off topic actually. But I was um, watching the uh, video that I did with Evander Holyfield. Yes. <laughs> I was watching that, um, and I was uh, with Les Brown. I was sitting there showing him uh, the video and stuff. And of course, every time I see that that video now, I always think of you. Uh, yeah. Do it for me. Do it for me. How you? <laughs> well, there is a portion of the video when he asked, um, you know, his. I guess he's, he's advertising. You know, he's talking about his uh, barbecue sauce, yeah. the real deal barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. And so I think you asked. Um, what all can what? we put? Where, what where can we put the real deal barbecue sauce on? Yeah, what can we where, where can we uh, use the barbecue sauce? He, so he says uh, <laughs> you can use uh, potato chips, uh, ribs, uh, popcorn, peanuts, whatever. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and that's the way he says it, you know. And, I know. <laughs> and having looked at that video a lot. You know, every time I see it, it makes me want to go get some potato chips. I mean, that particular um, video was so well, I mean, even though it was off the cuff, it was totally improvised. <laughs> well, thank you. Know, you know, it, it was done, it was it was done, I mean, everything just seemed to fit perfectly. And every time I see that, he <laughs> dipped in that half a chip, way he eats it, I mean, he makes a good commercial. I mean, he's, I he wants me to go get some potato chips and some ketchup or some sauce or something, and, you know. I don't, it ain't, you know. So yeah, uh, you know, one of my favorite. Uh, yeah, it just tickles me, and it always makes me think of you whenever mm -hmm. I, whenever I do watch it. So uh, as we're talking about well, whenever, wherever, all of that good stuff, I don't know. Whatever, 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 yeah. yeah, I know, I know, but I'm saying you, you were saying that at first the title was going to be wherever. Yeah. So uh, just saying, as we're talking about all of this, it just makes me think of that for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just funny. So. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. It's hilarious. It is. Yeah. Well, back to your CD. Let me get back to your CD. Now, um, I know that you have it on your website, JeromeTaylor.com, right? Or yes. Jerome Taylor Music, is it? JeromeTaylorMusic.com. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you, you got it on uh, Amazon? Amazon.com, as well as iTunes. Okay. As well as all of the streaming um, formats we have on uh, Spotify, uh, Rhapsody, you know, uh, a number of different uh, streaming, but the main ones, Amazon and you know iTunes, of course, uh, mm -hmm. is there. The link actually is on my website that will take you to those places. Uh, so if you go to my website, drumtillamusic.com, and go under purchase CDs, you'll see the logo of the album, in which you just click it, it'll take it directly to the store, mm -hmm. and there you'll see all the samples, and you just press uh, play all samples, and you get a chance to hear a little bit of all of them, and uh, that's fun, you know. Yeah, I think it's pretty mm -hmm. hot. Let me yeah. see if I can pull up another one, mm -hmm. if uh, my computer will um, allow me to share okay. some of your music, which I yeah. think is totally awesome. Thank you. Now, you know, uh, just in case anyone is wondering how we met, I think it's pretty cool how we how we became friends uh, yes. through your music being on Django. And yes. I love yeah. Django. So yes, here it is. Sure. I'm listening, and, and I'm mm -hmm. just totally into this song. And I said, man, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. So I sent you the friend requests and all of that. You and I mm -hmm. became friends. And I'm yes. like, man, you need to let me do a video for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, 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 and what a... Way to to, uh, to 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 be introduced to someone and through music. I mean, yeah, how powerful music is. What it a gift. really is. What a gift because of music. Yep. So mm -hmm. I'm honored and grateful that we have become friends. Yes, and, and, and as well as as I am as well. Uh, it's been a most wonderful pleasure. And, awesome. Uh, hey, now is Get Well Big Al on the new CD? Yes, it is. All right. Get well, Big Apple. 
Now, before you put it on there, uh, the, let me tell you what that means. Now, Get Well Big Al was a, a, a deliberate uh, titled uh, selection based upon a friend of mine whose name is Alan from uh, Killeen, Texas, uh, who's also a producer and music young, young man. Um, he unfortunately had a uh, series of uh, heart attacks and a stroke in one week. But he survived all of it. He's back to work. He's doing great. He's thriving. He's all that. But I wrote a tune called Get Well, Big Al. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. uh, and I also made a little video for him. And, and uh, I uh, let him hear it. He heard it. And he showed it to his friends. Because he has a lot of friends. He, I mean, a lot of friends. He's well loved down in Texas. They saw it and they loved it. And, uh, you know, they thought it was so cool. To have a video with all his friends and peeps down in homies yeah. <laughs> on there on YouTube, so mm -hmm. that was good. You know what I mean? It uplifted the spirits and everything. So that what that's that's what that particular song is all about. And, okay. You know, so, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then let's take a listen. Sure. Let me unplug my thing here. want to give away too much, they need to get the CD, right? <laughs> well, yeah, they need to go get it right away. <laughs> yeah, yeah that and that's just a teaser, but uh, that's, a, that's pretty hot. Yeah, thank you. That was that was fun to do. That was a good one. Yeah. And yeah. again, like I said, he appreciated it. He liked it. You know, his family, friends, they loved it. You know, and it was, and it, 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 I, it, when you think about music in general, uh, I think it's a... Uh, Wonderful opportunity to, uh, with music in the right hand, a skilled musician or someone that knows what they're doing, to be able to express their thoughts and their feelings through music, whereas they can uh, uh, be able to heal, uh, to uplift, to inspire these things. I mean, I like to hear those kind of comments coming from people when they hear some of my music. Mm -hmm. and that means a lot to me because now I've, I've, I've accomplished that which. I've set out to do not just really to entertain, which is good too, but I want you to you know to see positive thoughts. I'm, and, and most of the songs are instrumental anyway, so you can put your own words on your own feelings into it. Lyrics tend to lead you down a path of a thought process. If you have a lot of lyrics involved, in but I, most of my tracks are instrumental, so you can put your own feeling in your own blend. And some people actually say, "Well, I, I heard this song on that track." It reminded me of this or that, and I started feeling good, and I was relaxed, and I was, you know, that, that does my heart good <laughs> to hear mm -hmm. that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That really mean that, that I'm reaching the people. That's communication. And yeah. I'm so thankful to be able to have that opportunity to do that. You know, um, you know. Uh, <laughs> I feel you. I'm with you. Yeah, yes. <laughs> like I said, you know, it's it's music that opens the doors for um, people to be able to meet, like we did. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people get married to music. Um, yes. Babies are made to music. I mean, music mm. is just a powerful tool. Yes, and it is. so, um, you know, you have awesome music. So I'm hoping that a lot of people will go ahead and buy that CD because it's sure. very um, positive. You know, it yes. this isn't junk. And uh, like you said, mm -hmm. you know, you don't have lyrics all throughout and everything. So mm -hmm. I love that. I'm I'm able to go ahead and create in my mind what mm. the music feels like to me. You know, yes, absolutely. So absolutely. I, I really appreciate the music that you put out. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> cool. Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to end this hangout. Did you have anything that you wanted to say? Well, um, just simply to give the music a shot. Listen, give listen to the samples. 
go to the site where the music is, uh, press one button, it says play all samples, and you'll get to hear a little bit of all the tracks. And I'm sure, I can pretty much uh, assure you, you will like at least one or more of those tracks. You'll be endeared to those tracks uh, as soon as you hear them. Yeah. Uh, I'm certain of it. So when you hear them, you like it, make the purchase. But at yeah. the same time, I, I really hope that you um, get something out of the music, again, because I put my soul into it, and you can only put out what you put in. You know, so mm -hmm. um, have fun with it. Enjoy it. Yeah, and I mean, you're only, if they only want to buy like one or two tracks or whatever, they're, what, 99 cents each? Sure. Just, if you buy yeah. one track or two tracks, whatever tracks you want, you can purchase those tracks that you want only. If you want to buy the whole album, of course, you can buy the whole uh, uh, the album. It's also available in CD form mm -hmm. as well on Amazon.com only. Mm -hmm. uh, on iTunes, it's the, uh, the MP3. You and know, you have a ton of songs on it. How many songs do you have on the CD? Oh, there are 18 hot sizzling tracks on there right now, and uh, oh man, I, I get excited just thinking about it because I had so much fun doing it. I tell you, uh, <laughs> you know, I smile at the fact because I mean, I when I put them out there, I'm not just saying it because I did them, but uh, I, you know, I just really feel um, these songs, like you said, has a wonderful positive effect on you, and, um, the impact. Uh, uh, of those songs, I'm sure will register with you and will last a long time. So right. uh, when you get a chance, uh, check them out and enjoy. All right. All right, Mr. Jerome Taylor. Yeah, hey, Taylor. audience, if you're watching, make sure that you go out there and get whenever you want it, the CD by Jerome Taylor. And uh, go to his website, JeromeTaylorMusic.com. Connect with them on Facebook. You know, we're all over the place, right, Jerome? That's correct. And also Reverb Nation. Reverb Nation as well. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks, Jerome, and uh, we're going to be talking soon. Great. It was, it was a pleasure talking to you again, once again. Thanks Likewise. Again. All right. <laughs>